Hey, what's going on guys? It's Gus here. Today what I'm bringing you is actually a commentary about the new Ascendance DLC, which is coming out in a few weeks actually, I think very soon. I don't think it's a three a few weeks. But um yeah, the gameplay in the background is actually quite a new one. It's actually a HBR DNA bomb on the map retreat. Um drop a like if you do enjoy. And um now I'll be telling you about the the new DLC which is actually called Ascendance. So for you that guys that did not know, in the Ascendance DLC playlist, you'll actually be able to use a thing called Exo Grapple, which is basically what was in the campaign. I personally didn't play it, but I knew it was in there. Um, you could actually get around quicker and faster and a lot easier. Um, it was quite a mobile way of getting around. But um, also, in this playlist, there is actually a new Exo Zombies map. Okay, so... It's basically a map where there's a um a burger town which was in uh, other COD games. I don't know which one. Um, I think it may have been in Ghost actually on Chasm. I'm not sure, but um yeah, I don't know the name of the map right now. Um, so like with this new map pack, you can actually get a gun called the OHM or the Ohm. Um, if you did not know, an ohm is actually like a, um, sort of like measurement or something like that used in science. I'm not very good at that, but, um, yeah, you actually get the ohm variant called the werewolf, um, and that comes with the Ascendance DLC pack. And if you actually got the deal, like if you got the season pass, you would have got that already, but you do not get, um, the ohm werewolf. Just get the normal home. Um, the four new maps, which I'm very happy about, is actually Perplex, which is actually in Sydney, Australia, where I used to live to about three months ago, where I moved to this crappy place. But um, so it's basically a five-story building. Um, I think I do believe it's like a car dealership or something, or like a business area, and you fight it off and control floors and stuff like that, which is quite cool. I think this is the first time Australia has been used in a Call of Duty game. I'm very happy about that because I feel like our country is ignored quite a bit when it comes to gaming. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool how they've added in Sydney. So, and I do know it's around Sydney Harbour, which is one of the biggest landmarks in Australia so it's pretty cool and the next map is a like I don't know the names of these maps just yet I know Perplex oh no don't worry I know them. I'm looking at a website right now actually so there's Mount Rushmore which is site 244 where a crash landed alien spaceship um actually crashes and you fight around that and stuff like that it's a mixture of land and water routes to environmental hazards in climate and a map located inside a black market industrial complex called Chop Shop. So they're the maps. Sorry if I did not go into detail, but I do not know much about this. There has not been much released at all since it's a new DLC. But um, stay tuned for DNA bombs on those maps because I do believe I'll be able to get quite a few gameplays, maybe even a double. But um, it's very hard to find Wash Pit on those game modes. So um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this commentary. Drop a like if you enjoy. Um, I have some good videos out coming out soon with this DLC. So um, once again, subscribe if you would like to see DNA bombs. I've actually joined a clan called Sacred. I'm having quite a lot of fun. My introducing came out a few days ago. Saw a lot of support. And a few of you guys actually came over and subbed. So thank you very much for that. And um, I'm out. Peace.